Hello Gaudi and welcome to your math lesson. To start off with, we're going to do some, some arithmetic questions. You have challenge one or challenge two. You may choose which one you'd like to do. If you want to go for an extra challenge, you can do both. Um, you have two extensions, one on either side. Remember, there's not just one option that you can pop in 15. You can have 10 plus five, but there are many others. I'd like you to complete it with as many solutions that you know of. Pause the video to have a go. Right, let's get started. Um, we need a pen. Here we go. So two plus seven is nine. We know this because we can put the larger number in our heads and count on two, seven, eight, nine. Same with number two, four plus two. Larger number in your head, four and count two, four, five, six. Number three is a subtraction. Eight, take away four. So eight in your head and count back four. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Oops, let's try again. Four, here we go. With your extension, you can have, which we said earlier was 10 plus five. You can have nine plus six. Now, one way I worked it out was that if I took one away from one side to balance it out, I add it to the other. What do you think, if we followed a pattern, what do you think the next one might be? That's right, eight, take one for one side and add it to them, which gives seven. And if you continue the pattern, eight, seven plus eight, and you can carry on. Let's go to challenge two. Same rule applies here. Largest number in your head and count on six, which gives you 21. Even though number two, even though you've got the four first with four plus 21, you still put 21 in your head and count on four, which gives you 25. 19 take away nine. Now here's a trick top tip for you. If you've got nine ones here and you're taking away nine ones, you know with 19, you're going to be left with 10. Right, here's our extension for number four. Two numbers that make 42. One way to start off with is by looking at the tens. So you'd have four tens, 40, add two. You could then take a 10 away from 40, which leaves you with 30. Add the 10 onto the other side, which gives you 12. And if you carried this pattern on, what do you think you might get next? 30, 12, oops, let's start again. 40, 30. 20, 20, we've taken away 10, take it over to the other side, which gives us 22. You can carry the pattern on there. Well done, Gaudi, let's move on. Today we are going to carry on from yesterday. We are going to be looking at adding pounds together. So in this lesson, we are going to add pounds. When we have an amount that is more than 99p, that way the amount is, the way the amount is written is changed. There are 100 pennies in a pound. Instead of paying with 100 pennies, we can use a one pound coin to pay for an item. This is a one pound coin. And we use this sign, which we can write like, it's a bit tricky sometimes. Go round the loop and two lines across. It's a little bit tricky, you can practice that one later. So just like the plus sign means add, the equal sign means equals or the same as, and you've got the takeaway sign, which means take away or subtract. Let's look at adding one pound coins. Here we've got a bar model, which we have used previously. We can use a bar model to say one pound, add one pound, add one pound equals three pounds 
in total. So the whole bar is three pounds and it's made up of three one pound coins. One, two, three. Let's look at adding two pound coins together using the bar model. It's not very clear, but this one says two pounds. This one is also two pounds. And this one is two pounds. So we can say two pounds plus another two pound coin. And we've got one more. Here we go, another two pound coin. What do we get? I'm going to give you a moment to have a think. You can pause the video if you'd like a little bit longer. One way that I would count these, I would count in twos. So I would say two, four, six, which gives me six pounds. I counted in twos because each two pound coin was worth, each, each coin, sorry, let's start again. Each coin was worth two pounds and I've got three coins. So if I had three coins and they're two pounds each, I went two, four, six, which gave me six pounds. Here are some notes. We can have, we've, so we've had a one pound coin, a two pound coin, and after that we had paper notes, and we have a five pound note, a ten pound note, a twenty pound note, and a fifty pound note. One way to work out what the notes are worth is to look at the numbers, like I've circled in the corner. And the other one is to look at the colours and you can tell this turquoise teal colour is a five pound note. This brownish amber is a ten pound. A purple note is a twenty pound note and this pinkish red is a fifty pound note. Here we've got five pound coins, five one pound coins which is the same as a five pound note. So if you had five one pound coins, it would be exactly the same as a five pound note. What do we have here? We have a 10 pound note. So we can say, oh, we've got 10 pounds on this side. What do we have in the value of coins? We've got two, two, two. We've got three two pound coins. We've then got one, two, three, four, one pound coins. Now we can add those together. Now, do you remember in the previous lesson, we started with the largest value first, which was two. So if we're going to count in twos, let's use a different colour. Let's pick a lovely red. Here we go. So we can say two, four, six, eight. Oh, that's not a two pound coin. That's a one. So when we get to the end here, we have to carry on. When we continue to count, we start with one. Let's start again. Here we go. Two, four, six seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you know that the value of the coins on this side is ten pounds and on the other side is exactly the same as a ten pound note. Right, now let's go back to using purple. Quite nice. Here we go. Twenty pound note. This is worth £20 because it tells us in the top corner it's £20. What do we have on the other side? We've got a £10 note, a £5 note. This coin is our £2 coin, £1 coin, a £1 coin and another £1 coin. 
I always write the digits, the numbers, the value of the coin on top if I can't see it, just so it to help me out. Now, we've got a £10 note and a £5 note and the coins. When you're counting money, we usually start off with the notes and with the largest one. So if we add £10 to £5, it's 15. 10 and 5 more is 15. 15 and 2 more, 15, 2 more, 16, 17. And then we've got three pound coins, so 17 in our head, 18, 19, 20. Oh, we've got 20 pound on this side too. So if you had all this money in your pocket, you had a 10 pound note and a five pound note and some coins, and somebody else and your friend had a 20 pound note, you've got the exact same amount of money, you've got the same value, even though. You've got different types of coins and different notes. What's the easiest way to count pounds below? So we have a five pound note, a one pound coin and a 20 pound note. And as you can see, we've added the largest first 20 pound note, followed by the five pound note and then the one pound coin, which makes 26. Here are your challenges. Challenge one, you have got some one pound coins. What you need to do is you need to write a number sentence showing how to add all these one pound coins together. If you get stuck, remember you can pause the video and watch it again before you attempt the challenges. So challenge one with the one pound coins, can you write a number sentence and show how much money we have here. Challenge one, question two, this time you've got two pound coins. Can you write a number sentence for this, for this amount? Remember, you can always pause the video, take your time and then write the number sentence. Challenge two, you've got some notes, Remember to write the number sentence and the value of each question. And again, here are some more questions for challenge three. How much money is in each question? How much money can you count in question five, question seven and question eight? Challenge three. Jade and Tim both have some money. Jade has notes. And Tim has notes and coins. Jade says, I have more pocket money than you. Is Jade right? And how do you know? So I want you to use the stem sentence at the bottom. Jade is right because and explain why. Or Jade is wrong and explain why. This is all of Jade's money. This money belongs to Jade, which means these coins and this note belong to Turtle Tim. There you go. So Jade says, I have more pocket money than you. Is Jade right? How do you know? So remember, you've got to tell me and use that stem sentence at the bottom. Jade is right because, and you've got to explain why, or is Jade wrong? Then you have to say Jade is wrong because, and you've got to explain why. Remember to upload all your work onto Tapestry so we can have a look and see how you're getting on. See you next time, Gaudi.